When Meghan Markle recently graced a bookstore with her presence, what was meant to be a simple outing quickly devolved into a farcical display of self-absorption and confusion. The event, which should have been an unremarkable literary celebration, turned into a spectacle that's left the public scratching their heads and fueling a whirlwind of speculation. Once celebrated for a poised royal demeanour and charitable endeavours, Meghan seems to have drastically shifted gears. Gone are the days of high-profile galas and glamorous engagements, now she's seemingly found solace in the comforting aisles of neighbourhood bookstores. This stark transformation from a regal philanthropist to an overly enthusiastic bookstore guest highlights just how far she strayed from her former royal standing. The bookstore visit, initially presented as a heartfelt homage to literature, quickly unravelled into a series of peculiar incidents. Despite the venue's modest scale, Meghan couldn't resist seizing the microphone, an action that appeared more driven by self-promotion than genuine literary interest. Her insistence on addressing the crowd through a mic, an accessory as out of place as a rumbling comments, only added to the event's growing confusion. Meghan's speech took an odd turn when she claimed to seek safety in the bookstore, a statement that left many puzzled. Was this an honest expression of her emotions or just another instance of her fabricating narratives to suit her needs? The bookstore, rather than serving as a sanctuary, transformed into a stage for Meghan's typical blend of self-centred rhetoric and historical revisionism. Her speech, peppered with buzzwords like equity and authenticity, seemed entirely disconnected from the event's actual purpose. Adding to the spectacle was a video clip that captured Meghan's erratic behaviour. In the footage, her attempts to control the situation coupled with awkward hand gestures and a somewhat hofty tone suggest more of a malfunction than a deliberate performance. Some speculated that her peculiar actions might be attributed to substance abuse, a notion that, while lacking concrete evidence, added another layer of intrigue to her already convoluted public persona. Her erratic tongue movements and peculiar facial expressions have been likened to symptoms of oral buccal lingual dyskinesia, a condition often associated with cocaine use. Some commentators, citing a past as a recovering addict, suggest that her behaviour could indicate a possible relapse. The theory is fuelled by claims that she has a history of drug use, including recreational marijuana and cocaine. The peculiar coked-out stare and other signs observed at public appearances such as Invictus have intensified these speculations. In stark contrast to the glamorous royal events of her past, Meghan's bookstore escapade exposes a deeper identity crisis and a struggle for relevance. Her need to attract attention even in such mundane settings highlights a significant mismatch between her perceived self-importance and the actual impact of her actions. What was once a place of literary solace now serves as a stage for Meghan's ongoing battle with public perception and personal validation. As Meghan grapples with this latest PR blunder, it becomes increasingly evident that her attempts to reclaim the spotlight are fraught with challenges. The bookstore appearance, rather than elevating a status or sparking meaningful dialogue, has instead underscored her eccentricities and potential issues. Meghan Markle's bookstore visit has become a theatrical reflection of her current plight. The bizarre behaviour, questionable narratives and unfounded rumours all contribute to a larger story of a public figure wrestling with a diminished status.